So yesterday, May 2nd, 2023, Copilot in SharePoint was added to the roadmap for SharePoint. The description is Copilot in SharePoint combines the power of large language models, your data in the Microsoft Graph, and best practices to create engaging web content. Use a brief prompt to generate custom sites and pages with content hierarchy, design, and sample content that aligns with user needs, and all within our existing commitments to data security and privacy in the enterprise. So what does this mean for you? Well, what this is really gonna do is empower users to create content easier than they were able to before with much richer automation techniques. With normal natural language, they'll be able to ask Copilot to create a new site based on a PowerPoint presentation and Copilot will take over and create the content, whether that's a site, a page, and who knows what else. Now you may be asking yourself, what is Copilot? Because I haven't heard of this before. Well, it's a pretty new technology that Microsoft's rolled out and it's an AI tool based on GPT-4. And GPT-4 may sound familiar to you because that's also what ChatGPT is based off of. And most people by now have heard of ChatGPT. Copilot is gonna be rolled out across the Microsoft 365 stack in everything from Word and Excel to Teams, SharePoint, and more. It's gonna use the power of AI to do work for you, to get information you need, to shorten the amount of effort that it takes to do normal things, whether it's creating content in Word, SharePoint, Teams. It's gonna integrate with Outlook as well, and the Viva Suite. Here's an example video Microsoft's provided where somebody is asking Copilot to create an employee onboarding site for product managers and use this onboarding PowerPoint to get started. So with just a simple sentence and an uploaded PowerPoint file, Copilot is able to create a new site and start populating it with information. And from what I can tell, if you're not good at page design, that won't even matter anymore because Copilot will be able to come up with pretty nice looking designs. So there's gonna be a lot of benefits to this, especially when it hits SharePoint, which will be later this year. My own personal tenant is running on the targeted release, so it should get things sooner than the majority of production environments, which would typically be on the standard release. As soon as it's available on my tenant, I'm definitely gonna be trying this out and posting more videos on what I can do with it. With this being rolled out to desktop applications, as well as the enterprise suite like Teams, Viva, and SharePoint, users are going to get a lot of exposure to this. So you should be familiar with this so you can answer questions they may have and help them because this is going to be a large amount of functionality that's added that users will definitely be trying out. And to support this new interface that Copilot's gonna be sitting in, the edit layout for SharePoint pages is changing as well, moving all of your authoring tools off to the side so that you can quickly get to what you need. I think it's a much needed improvement over the old editing layout. As more information comes out, I'm gonna keep putting out update videos on these topics to keep you informed. Are you excited to try out Copilot when it rolls out to your tenant? Let me know down in the comments below. Where do you think this is gonna be more useful? Is it SharePoint? Is it desktop applications? Is it Viva? What are you most interested in trying out when it hits? Let me know. Thanks for watching this video and subscribe to the channel for more content like this.